I'm Steve Mangleshot, Exec Chef at Wagamama, and this is Walk From Home. Week uh, four, episode... Six. 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 Oh, episode six. Thanks, Mons. Episode six. And this week, we're going to be showing you Yaki Soba. So, Yaki Soba is going to be the dish we're cooking today. We've got some great veggies here, some pepper. Some spring onions, some onions, some bean sprouts. A garnish is going to consist of some mixed sesame seeds, some crispy fried shallots, and some sushi ginger. I found some sushi ginger in the cupboard, so just want to put a bit of that on top just to give it that real kick and that fieriness. Then our proteins, we've got chicken thigh that's marinating in a bit of teriyaki and some beautiful king prawns. Last but not least, we're going to make up a sauce. Now I'm going to show you two easy ways. We've got some... Worcester sauce, some soy sauce and some dark soy, some salt and some sugar. I'm going to make up a wagger dressing which consists of the soy and the dark soy and a little bit of sugar. That just helps actually with the seasoning. You put one spoonful of that sauce in and your job's done. If you're not confident with that, you can just use a bit of soy and a bit of Worcester sauce. But we can go through that as we start cooking. So. First things first, let's make our Wagga seasoning. Now this is similar to a sauce that we use in our kitchens, and it's basically a one hit sauce that can season up the noodles, your vegetables, your chicken, your prawns that are in there, and it seasons the whole dish. Rather than adding a bit of sugar, a bit of salt, a bit of soy, a bit of dark soy, you've got one hit sauce that you just put on, cook in, and away you go. So let's get three tablespoons of soy, and then, one and a half teaspoons of caster sugar or sugar. You've just got to dissolve that into the soy. So now your sugar's all dissolved. We're gonna add, just to finish it off, doesn't need any more heat, two tablespoons of dark soy. And there we have it. Just gonna let that mix and we'll let it cool and that's ready for us to finish our yakisoba with. Before we start cutting our vegetables, we're just gonna cook off some chicken thigh for our yakisoba. So I'm gonna cook a couple off and put a little bit of that marinade in there, which is our, like I said, our teriyaki marinade. So we're going to pre-cook this off, get it ready, keep it warm, cut it up and whack it into our noodles. A beautiful colour on there, great bar marks, just to give it a bit of extra flavour. That teriyaki sauce has started to caramelise. Oh man, the smell coming off is amazing. Right, I'm going to whack the lid on it, cut some vegetables up and start cooking. Right, I know you're all experts now, so I won't go into too much detail of what we need to do. I'm only going to use half a red onion. You can use white onion, red onion, really makes no difference. Because this is going to be a stir fry, we need to make sure we don't have it too big. So look, there you go, nice bit of onion. And then all we're going to do is just slice down, as we've done before. Nice, thin, crunchy peppers. Now some spring onions. Now I'm gonna leave these quite chunky to give us a bit of crunch. So we're just gonna cut them into lengths like so. And then any of the bigger bits, just slice in half very quickly. Veggies cut. Now for a bit of ginger and a bit of garlic. So again, we're just gonna chop all this up. We want to add loads of flavour to this dish. And if you know me by now, you know I like my ginger, you know I like my chilli and my heat. So now we're just going to... Nice, that should be enough. Again, just want it nice and fine so it starts to literally melt in the dish. And complement all those other flavours. And bring that fiery ginger heat. Only slightly, but again, you can adapt, you can change, you can add, you can delete, 
whatever you want. This is your yakisoba. Make it your way. So, now's the time that we get to cook. Our wok is on, heating up, nice little bit of oil in there. I'm gonna start putting our ginger, our garlic, our vegetables in there. Then the prawns will go in. I will cut a bit of chicken, that will go in. I'm gonna whisk up one egg, that will go in. Then last but not least, we put our noodles in. We warm it, heat it, mold all those flavors together. Add our seasoning, plate up, garnish, job done. Ginger and garlic in there first. Bit of ginger. Love a bit of garlic. releasing its flavour. So some peppers. Spring onions. Red onions. Some yellow pepper. And some bean sprouts. Give us that lovely crunch. So we'll start cooking that down. Start softening that veg. Now let's add a few prawns. Get in here, let's get some colour. Start cooking down and get those prawns cooked out. So now I'll take one bit of our thigh. It's, oh, it's the teriyaki smell is superb. And then we're just gonna cut through. You can pre cook. Your chicken and just cool it down and then just use it as you want to use it. Or it can be a bit of leftover chicken. It can be cooked chicken already. And there we go, look, it's starting to get a load of colour in there. So now let's add our egg. Just going to whisk our egg up. This helps with a little bit of moisture. Keeps it all, binds it all together. So a little bit of egg in there. I'm just going to cook that egg out. Someone's scrambling in there. Now we add our noodles. Now these noodles are already pre-made. You can use dried, cook them off, get them cold, use them. You can use rice noodles, but then if you're making your wagon seasoning, you might need to use tamari, which is gluten-free soy if you've got an allergy to the gluten. And then all we're gonna do, we're just gonna warm this all up. So everything's now nice and hot in there. So we're just gonna add in some of our Wagga seasoning. Just gonna get that coating our noodles and our vegetables. That's our seasoning, remember? And we're gonna keep it nice and moist. We don't want all that sauce to evaporate too much. We wanna keep plenty of moisture in there and it all comes together. Look at that, the colors. Oh, the smell is amazing. And there we are. So there we go, look at all those beautiful noodles. Prawns in there. That lovely chicken thigh. Oh, sumptuous, absolutely sumptuous. Prawns, chicken. Peppers, vegetables, bean sprouts. And then we're just gonna garnish these are our crispy shallots. 
nice little bit of crunch there, great bit of texture. So that's just some shallots that's just been shallow fried in some oil. And then some of that, oh, that smell of this ginger is sublime. And there you go, I do like a bit of ginger. And then last but not least, some sesame seeds. And then all we've done is we've just toasted them off in a dry pan just to give them a bit of colour. And what I love to do to make mine a bit more extra special, as I saw it when I was in Tokyo, just a fried egg on top. Tokyo street food at its finest. And then just a little bit of chili oil just to finish it off. One yaki soba. Finish, just break that egg up in there. Get some extra flavor. Even if I say so myself. What a great dish. Super simple, super quick. Get your prep done, as always. Have it all around you. End result, it's stunning. Anyway, I'm gonna carry on eating, I think.